I'm just saying Hala Madrid. 10 steps to know how to measure the blood pressure. If you would like to know, please come with me. First step, you should have three things. Stethoscope, a sphingomonometer, proper side cuff. The second step, give the patient 5 minute rest. Put the cuff at the proper side, 1 inch above the elbow. The artery marker should be along with the brachial artery. Put the stethoscope below the artery marker and listen to heartbeat. Open mercury lock and close air leaking bulb. Start to inflate while putting your fingers on radial artery. Pulse disappear, let's say at 140, inflate 20 to 30 millimercury above it and start to listen. If you listen to heartbeat, then inflate more until you reach there is no heart sound. After that, let's say we've reached 190, start to deflate while listening to pulse by stethoscope. Keep on deflating until you've reached no sound of heartbeat. So, now this is the diastolic blood pressure. Let's now, put on your headphones to learn and listen what you will hear during measurement the blood pressure. Now, let's say the systolic blood pressure at 140. So we should listen to the sound of the heart at 140. So listen to it now. While you're deflating until you've reached, there is no sound. So now this is the diastolic blood pressure. A good question. Why we hear the sound at the level and the sound is disappear at the another level. So look at the picture right now. The thing is the pressure above the systolic pressure will close the artery. So there is no sound because there is no blood circulation and no pressure difference that produce the sound we hear by stethoscope. And the pressure below diastolic pressure the sound is disappeared because the artery is fully opened. After finishing and doing all that steps, repeat the measurement two to three times, five minutes apart, and choose the average reading. If you have any questions, write it down below. I would be happy to answer. Goodbye.